Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on week three of learning more about the children of the Bible. Um, last week, we spoke about Cain and Abel, the first brothers in the Bible, and Jacob and Esau, the first twins. And the word that we, we mentioned is the way that jealousy ruined a lot about their relationship and the story after that. Today we're going to talk about a very special boy, Isaac, who was waited for for a very long time by his very old parents, Abram and Sarah. If you remember, Abram was almost 100 years old and Sarah was about 90 years old when she fell pregnant with the promise that God had said to them that they would have a child and that Abram would be the father of many, many nations, which he ended up being. God took him outside one day and show, pointed up at the stars and, and said, the, look at the stars, Abram, you will have as many children as you see in the stars in the sky. And Isaac was their child. Um, and they'd waited so many years for Isaac, and eventually he came along. Now, this story is a quite a difficult story to teach, especially to, to children. So I'm going to take a different take on this whole, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what happens, but I'm going to focus on one verse in the Bible that says, it's from Genesis 22, verse 8, and it says, God will provide a sheep for the burnt offering, my son, Abram answered, and they both worked on together. So I'm going to be focusing on the fact that God always provides if we do one thing, and that is what Abram did really well, and that word I'm going to fit in here to this week is trust. If we trust him, God always provides, even through the difficult situations that we find ourselves in. So what happened? Isaac was a young boy when, um, God, when Abram felt that God was saying, you, I am asking you to sacrifice your son. Many years ago, back in, in those times, the way that they would show that they loved and, and um, worshipped God was by sacrificing an animal that was called a, well, for a burnt offering and they would kill, kill the animal, put it on a little stone altar and burn it and that was a sacrifice to God. Nowadays and since Jesus came into the world and died for our sins, he was the ultimate sacrifice and we no longer need to sacrifice or do anything like that to prove our love for God. But back then that's what was done. But instead of sacrificing an animal, Abram felt that God was calling him to sacrifice his own son Isaac. Now can you imagine, imagine the feelings that he had as he was taking his child up the mountain. I'm sure in his heart he must have thought, God has called me to do this, so I'm going to do this because it's God, but I'm sure there must be a way out. I'm sure God's going to, because as a parent, I can't imagine actually going through that if you didn't have those sort of thoughts. Anyway, Abram believed and trusted in God and was obedient. So they walked up the mountain and to cut this long story short, right at the end, before he was about to actually put his own son on this altar, this little pack compartment of little stones compacted together, God said, sent an angel and said, stop. The, you, you do not need to do this. This is not what you, I'm asking you to do. But now I realize how you have obeyed me. And because he saw how obedient Abram was, he realized how much he could actually give to Abram. Because responsibility always has consequence. But, and he saw Abram's wholehearted belief and trust in God. Abram trusted God even with his own son that he waited so many years for. And in the end, I'm going to read from this book that I said we, we're using as the base for this section um, these next few weeks. At that moment that God had said, don't stop, don't do it, at that moment they heard something in the nearby bushes and it was a ram. His horns were stuck in the branches. Abram took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering in place of Isaac. And then in the Bible it says, from then on, from now on, we will call this place the Lord provides, said Abram. And that area was, na was called the Lord provides. God was very pleased with Abram. You were willing to sacrifice your dear son Isaac, he said. I will surely bless you. The land will belong to you and your children all will be well with you. And 
the, the, the crux of the story that I want to focus on is that God did not let Isaac and his father down. He will also never let you down. When it seems like you have a problem and you can't find a way to fix it, God will surprise you with a great plan. And I want to encourage you and leave you with that message today. Even when you can't see God and even when you can't feel God and even when you can't hear God, He is still with you. He is still there. He is moving things in places that you can't see now, but only maybe one day you look back and you realize where he was in a, in a particular situation. I want to encourage you to carry on trusting in God. He will always provide, so carry on praying. Carry on spending time with God. Um, you will see the fruits of your prayers. Let's end in prayer. Father God, thank you for the story of Abram and Isaac. Thank you that from this we can learn about just being completely obedient and trusting in you for, because of Abram. And, and then through Isaac, just the way a reminder to just remind us that you always provide. You are a God of provision. And thank you, Father God, that, that you are just so worthy of every prayer, every worship that we give to you. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are always with us, even when we can't feel you, even when we can't see you, even when we can't hear you, you are still there. And help us to always remember that as we go through difficult situations, as we go through wonderful situations, that we give you the glory. We pray this in and through your name. Amen.